Good morning, folks. The big story today is the X-class solar flare from our star and what produced it. We have several disaster cycle related science articles to hit as well, but we are starting with our star where the incoming northern active region fired a solar flare that reached up momentarily into X-class range. Powerful CME ejected about 90 degrees away from the Earth with such a wide breadth to the CME that it will just barely miss being aimed this way. The ionization of the flare struck the West Pacific where tropical activity should be monitored as well as seismic activity in the coming days. The eruption has been complemented by several secondary eruptions, like this one from a sunspot group with baby Umbra trying to grow quickly. And while that CME from the X flare won't be a major Earth impacting event, the sunspots are turning in to face the Earth and by far represent the most titanic sunspot group of the solar cycle 25 so far. Chances that this one is done blasting are very low, so eyes open in the coming days, especially with several coronal hole streams likely also on their way to Earth this next week as well. Quick article here hits as the millionth new geomagnetic biology paper of the last couple years, and it's Pacific Salmon, Navigation and Fine Tuning for Reproduction and Life Stage Cycle Events, another critical reliance on the magnetic aspect of Earth, which is undergoing its collapse and reversal at the moment. In two preprints from the upcoming May issue of Quaternary Science Reviews, they confirm that the 6,000-year events, the Heinrich events, present tremendous shifts in the precipitation patterns, especially those related to the monsoons, which is bad news for India and China in the ongoing event. They confirmed the interaction with the slowing Atlantic and Oceanic heat transport, and they also found a nearly continuous Ice Age cycle stage record in Europe, the only break during the last glacial maximum, which really says something about the severity of the end of this last glacial period. Last but not least, a little preview from the book thousands of you have pre-ordered. Recall that the interplanetary dust is increasing, and also in the corona and uppermost F corona. The dust in the solar systems, all stellar systems, should be slowly dropping over time, not spiking to noticeable increases within a human lifetime. It's the dust coming with the galactic current sheet, and here, without that specific tool in the toolbox, the best they can do is say it's not coming from the Jovian systems or other interior sources. It must be coming from the outside, which is where their Kuiper origin guess gets cooked up. Observers, just as long as you know it is in fact from the outside, just probably has a little help from even further outside than they think. We greatly appreciate your support. Books and observer gear at otf.cells.com. Eyes on the sunspots facing Earth this week. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.